Oh, that was a bad whistle. Hang on, let me do that again. <laughs> okay. Good morning from Cozumel, Mexico. Weather looks great. Got the Carnival Pride next to us. Hiding behind that. I can't see it. It's the Regal Princess. The water looks amazing. Good morning. Oh, that water does. Yeah, we're so going in it today. Yeah. Going in the water. Hopefully it's warm. I'm sure it is. The water's always real nice. Looks beautiful today. Yeah. Gonna have a good day? Yes, of course. Yeah. Got a fun excursion planned today, not through Royal, but... We're headed to the Islands Beach Club today. <laughs> yes. Gotta grab a cab and get there. Yeah, but not not before breakfast, so you no. wanna, wanna head out and get a bite to eat? Yes. All let's right, pick let's... somewhere new today. Alright, let's go. Okay, so a little well-known fact or tip is... Maybe it's not a well-known fact. No, it's, Maybe it is more like a hidden gem. Uh, it's pretty well-known, but uh, in the mornings on Oasis Flash Ship, you can come to Johnny Rockets, which is the hamburger milkshake place, and get free breakfast. Yeah. And you have a pretty, pretty nice breakfast menu selection, including a... What is that? A breakfast milkshake with bacon? We got pancakes, Greg got a BLT with egg minus the tea. But I think it's, um, another neat thing is on your Royal Caribbean app, if you go on their dining and you push hungry now, it tells you every single place that's open for you to get food right now. So, so it kind of helps you choose whatever you want to eat at the moment. Yeah, because there is things closed at certain times of the day. Everything is not open 24-7. Yeah. So. But, but... As to be noted, is breakfast is only on Johnny at Johnny Rockets on Oasis class ships. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Not every ship with a Johnny, Johnny Rockets, Rockets can get breakfast. breakfast. Just on Oasis class. After breakfast, we stepped off the ship and caught a taxi to the Islands Beach Club. The weather was perfect. Little did we know this adventure to the bottom of the ocean would soon find its way to the top of our list of all-time best excursions. spent the day at the Islands Beach Club and we did the sea trek. What did you think of that? That was really cool. That was awesome. That was awesome being on the sea floor, seeing all the fish. I've never been scuba diving before, so I guess that's as close as I came. <laughs> yeah, they they lift on this like 72 pound helmet. Now once you're on, uh, once you go down under the water, it only weighs like 17 pounds then. You know, I felt like it was the opposite. Instead of like looking at fish in a fish bowl, I was the fish in the bowl because the <laughs> fish were just swimming all around you. Um, yeah. And it almost had like a magnifying effect to the helmet. So I felt like things were a lot closer than they appeared. So I was like reaching out for fish and then yeah. there wasn't anything right. Including us, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After a full day of sun and salt water, we headed back to our ship, or so we thought. Hiding just down the street from the cruise port, we saw it the famous blue taco truck of Cozumel. Okay, we found the famous blue taco truck of Cozumel. 
It literally is like a blue pickup truck. It is hilarious. I love it. We got two tacos and a couple Cokes. Yeah. I put the salsa that he told me that was not spicy on it. Uh -huh. I still feel like it has a little bit of a <laughs> kick to it. Yeah, when they tell you not <laughs> spicy down here. It's still a little spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. But I got the pork taco. How did you like your beef taco? Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. yummy. Yeah, and I love the cold Coke. Yes. It's like a good find. Headed back to our ship. How those tacos sitting with you? So far, so good. Not too spicy? No, they were good. Yeah, mine weren't. More hot. No. No. They yeah. Had a, little, had a little kick to them, definitely. Yeah. After I put the salsa on it, mine did the mild salsa. Tonight we have a show at 9:45. Uh huh. Called Columbus. And Columbus the musical. Yes. Huh. And then tonight is formal night. So. Oh, it's our um, second formal night tonight. Yep. Yeah. We have royal night in the dining room so tonight on the menu is lobster lobster look at them had a beautiful day in cozumel our excursion was fun all right back on the ship for a johnny rockets strawberry milkshake mm -hmm, it's delicious it's nice and hot out today so it's perfect good little treat mm -hmm. you know all these balcony rooms up here mm -hmm. you get a balcony room on the boardwalk you get like a partial ocean view behind you, and you get a free aqua theater show That's every true. night. Oh yeah. I did hear though that the balcony rooms on the boardwalk are a little noisy though. Okay. Yeah, I mean there's a carousel going on. Yeah. There's stuff down here happening. And Tracy just hit a duck on the boardwalk here. Mm -hmm. She's waiting to spot someone yes. grabbing it. So far, no one knows where it's at. Yep. So I got did a good, a good job spot. hiding. She hit it in the letter R on uh, the, the signage for Johnny Rockets. So. Yes, yeah, on the diner side, it's in the, it's in the R. Yeah, someone's gonna find it any second. Oh, oh. Okay, I see this living room on every Royal Caribbean ship. Why don't you tell people what it is? It's the teen area. They have a video games, a place for them to hang out. Um, you can actually see all of the TV monitors along the side. They have different consoles. The kids come in here, they hang out. They have their own dance area and DJ. It's the big teen hangout yes. area. Yes, where all the cool kids go. Do you remember coming on the ship with three girls? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> they thought they were something special, yes. didn't they? No adults allowed. Nope. Yes. This is a great place for the kids to go. They had a lot of fun. for our second formal night on the ship, better known as... Royal Night. Royal Night. Royal Night in the main dining room. Um, it means a little kind of upscale menu, lobster on the menu, and I'm sure Tracy will be eating two lobsters tonight. Yours and mine. Yeah, she always does. And then we got a show after dinner. Yep, Columbus the Musical. Columbus the Musical. So we got a night full of food and entertainment ahead. Okay, Tracy got her two lobster tails. How did you get two lobster tails when Royal Caribbean only lets you order one lobster tail on Royal Night? You're right. You only can get one lobster tail. Otherwise, you have to pay for the next one. Uh -huh. But since my husband doesn't like seafood, ha, he orders one for me, and then I get 
That's our lobster tail hack. And yeah, I just got the uh, some chicken tonight and some cheese tortellini. That's Tracy ordered that. Pass that to me. I ordered a lobster tail. Gave it to her. Yeah. And the other, you can, I didn't like the sides that come with the lobster, so the chicken marsala had uh, asparagus and mashed potatoes, so I switched it out for my vegetables and rice All that right. would normally come with the lobster. Let's dig in. I'm ready. What did you think of the show? I love that show. You're crazy. It wasn't about Columbus at all. It was about his uh, long lost, lost cousin, distant cousin, cousin Marvin. Marvin, who was obsessed with pickles. Yeah, it was just like the most bizarre show. But yeah. the, the, even the prop of like the big yeah. ship was so cool. I know. It was and silly, but the props and the music got yeah. better every scene. Like yeah. Blondie, Paul Simon. Jimmy Buffett, Lenny Kravitz, Katy Perry. Yeah, it was really good mix of songs. Yeah, Bob and was, Marley, just you name it. It, it was it was silly, but it was just so yeah. cute. I really, honestly, it's one of the best shows I've seen, I think, just because it, it was. wasn't something they were trying to, like, we've seen Grease earlier in the week, and we've seen different shows that are mimicking something, yeah. and I feel like because this is an original it just, it really, it was, yeah, it was cool. I laughed a lot tonight. That was, was really cool. funny. All right, let's see what's going on here. Where are we at? We are headed back to the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. We have a sea day tomorrow. Yeah. There's our new magnet for our stop. That completes our yeah. little magnet trifecta, doesn't it? Yeah. So sea day tomorrow, our last day. Yeah. We get another good night's sleep. Yeah, we got lots to do tomorrow. Yeah, I got a nice sea days are exciting. Yep. All right. Well, until then. Good night. Our uh, room attendant keeps stealing our all our towel animals. We just have one every night because she takes it and claims it and repurposes it. Yeah. I oh. like keeping them, and she keeps taking it. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like how she like keeps taking them. Wait, <laughs> I'm ready to take it off my shoes. I got my earrings off. I'm starting to get all my stuff off. The ready night, for bed. The night's over. This is like behind the scenes stuff. Like, look, we're kind of like in shambles. We, we kind are. Kind of, are kind of pride ourselves being organized I with know. all our clips and stuff. Gosh. And then like we we're making a mess. Look, we got disheveled hot mess in here. I don't know. We got pesos everywhere. I... We got saucers. We're not we're not bring plates back to the room people, but look what no. we did. I know. I know. We need to get it together, dear. What was on that plate by the way? Cookies? Yeah. Cookies? Oh yeah, there was cookies from earlier. Yeah. Well she'll come clean the room. For the last time tomorrow. That's sad just to say that. Yeah, it is. One more one more day. That means not only do we need to clean up this garbage, we actually have to pack it up. I know. You did get another duck today, right? I did. Which one? Um, I got the one that is the little, like... Um, it's like a cow one. Yeah, he's like cow, but he's got like a weird pattern of his cow marks. And he found it just down at guest services. Yes, look at I am like really doing good on this cruise finding oh. ducks. Right, and you're not even looking hard. You just kind of got no. your eyes peeled. Mm-hmm. Right. Eyes on the prize. All right, well, let's end this and get to bed. Okay, I'm ready.